ask about what does the trees do when they touch the disc when you cut multiples of them and uh, they don't. This steel plate right here is a butt plate. When you saw through the tree, when you saw through the tree, the butt of the tree gets up here on top of this plate and it keeps that butt of that tree off of this disc. Now they can slip out and hit, you know, touch out here, but that disc is still going to keep on pulling. We, we got to put a plate on this one, see it starting to roll up right there? It's actually thin enough for where it'll flex down and it'll get in the top of that disc right there. And as soon as Derek gets back, we're going to have a plate put on it. You got to drop this disc off of it to, uh, to do that. So I thought I'd show that right there. So those trees come through there, cut, and jump right up on top of that plate. See a big old red oak right there? I'm finna bomb that dude. I'm gonna let y'all watch. I'm gonna run both cameras, my camera here, and the GoPro inside the cutter where you can see both views of what's going on. I'll cut these over here, come in here, and I'll hit it here and hit it over there too. Give me a big B in it, real deep. And then I'll go up the hill and hit it right here for the finish cut and let it go down through through there. I may go ahead and cut one or two more of them guns over there because this, this in here is gonna tear up some stuff if it hits it.
y'all could see me going down over there. But I ended up having to slide those trees out where I could get on top of them to get back in the main guts of the road right here. They've got all of this flag down here to cut, but as wet as it is, we could cut it, but it would, uh, man, it would take us forever trying to trying to mat and get all that out right there the way it is. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. So I'm not sure what the diameter was on that tree before I cut it, but it don't look as big in the video as it it actually was, but that one log on that tree weighed 11,000 pounds is what that thing weighed. Now, I don't think it's going to be the next day video, but in a few videos coming up after this video that y'all watch this, y'all are going to get to see me top that tree with the saw head, with the cutter. Uh, Chad actually pulled it and several others up as I was coming out and I took the tops out of them, saw the limbs out of them with the saw head and all that and that's going to be an entire video uh, by itself so you get to watch that from the uh, uh, from the GoPro inside the machine. It was tough cutting that tree because when I went to back cut it to face it, uh, to, to make my first cuts on it to face it there uh, I was going down like crazy on my right side, and so I really couldn't get at the right angle that I needed to to bait that tree like I really needed to. But uh, you can see you can cut those big ends like that with that with that machine, and and of course you, you ain't gonna hold them. You got to cut them and let them go on the ground. But uh, that was a uh, that was a that was a big one, and, and but I hope that uh, that y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I decided I would uh, film that. Covered the camera with sawdust. Y'all really couldn't see all the dust. It, it come at it, but you, you really didn't realize it. But it it totally covered the camera. So uh, if you like my stuff, please subscribe to it. Share my videos around because uh, all I'm trying to do is help educate people why we do what we do, why we log, and and the benefits of it, and things like that. And I still have people come on here day to day or you know once or twice a week that are anti uh, timber cutting type people and and uh, they put their thoughts out there and stuff like that and it's amazing the the people that don't realize why we do what we do in the woods and, and, and cut the trees like we do and then replant them and all that but I appreciate all y'all viewing my stuff like it and subscribe to me uh, down below clickable link take you right to my website um, all my merchandise is right there so we'll catch y'all later later times